I'm trying everything I can to save my marriage. But sometimes I just don't know what to do. You know this family is strong. And we don't ever give up. You made a hope to God that you would stay with that man as long as you both shall live. So you got to own up to the words that you promised the Lord. But mother, you know I wouldn't be coming to you if I'm not tired and fed up. And I'm tired, mom, and I'm fed up. My husband's not truthful with me and it hurts. It hurts so bad. Come here, my daughter. Keep praying and the Lord will answer your prayers. Just believe in your marriage and all this, all this will come to pass. Tom. Yes, Eve. Please sit down. I'm not happy. What is it now, Eve? You come up with things every other week lately. A happy life is a happy wife. And you never questioned yourself why I'm not happy? You never once asked yourself why? I think I know why, Eve. I picked up a few extra hours. I'm not home as usual. But we talked about my new job. I know, honey. I know we talked about it. But we never talked about you not spending a few nights home. We never talk about you not being here to hold me at night sometimes when I need you. Me not holding you at night? I hold you at night for years, honey. And I think we both can agree. We can use the extra money to get a bigger house. And our daughter, Crystal, she'll be home from boarding school soon. I think you're being real selfish when you know the situation. Yes, honey, I know the situation. I know the situation. But when you first started that job, you were going into work, and you also spend a few nights home. All I want to know is what happened. Listen, I got to get dressed. I don't want to be late. But Tom, if you physically don't have to be at work, where are you going? I said I don't want to be late. Where are you going, Tom? I just want to speak to you for a minute, if you don't mind. Sure. Follow me. Come on, Mrs. Abraham. Have a seat. So how can I help you? It's my husband. I think my husband is the... 
I think we need some counseling. Okay. But you gotta tell me when. And you got to put all your hope in God's hands while I pray for you. Okay. Heavenly Father, I'm reaching out to you on behalf of the Abrahams. You know, love isn't perfect. It is not a fairy tale. Neither is it a storybook. Marriage is filled with overwhelming challenges. It's all about overcoming obstacles, fighting together, holding on, and never letting go. Amen. Amen. Thanks, Pastor. You're welcome. Father, how much I love my husband. Only you know I've been the best wife a wife could possibly be. Please help me. I can't allow myself to be in pain any longer. Show me a sign if I should stay or if I should go. Lord, I worship you and you only. So I'm going to put my marriage in your hands. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. morning, babe. Got some good news. I decided to take off today. I spoke with Pastor yesterday. I was wondering if we both can sit and talk to him. For what, Evelyn? To tell him all of our personal business? I told you, I'm not into things like that. I know you're not a Christian man, Tom, but you're married to a woman of God. And the least you can do is sit and talk to my pastor just to satisfy me. Okay, Evelyn. I took the day off just like you wanted so we could spend some quality time together. And that's how you want to spend the day. In church with another man? Another man? Really? That other man is my pastor. The same pastor that married us, Tom. And I only chose to talk to him because I feel as though our marriage is going down the drain. Is that too much to ask? Are you serious? Going down the drain? Okay, Evelyn. You win. You happy now? Yes. You do whatever you have to do, but there's absolutely nothing going on with me but my work. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. It's like I'm carrying this marriage all by myself. Listen, Pastor, my wife, she's crazy. I picked up a few extra hours, like we both agreed, okay? So we can get a bigger house. And this is the thanks that I get? Counseling? I am not crazy, Pastor. You know me for over 10 good years now, and I've never end up in a nut house. Now that's for crazy people. He doesn't even know why he's here. But I'll tell you. Please, tell us, elaborate, so that we can put this thing to rest. Yes, please, elaborate. Huh. A few weeks ago, while you were getting ready for your so-called job, your phone rang and I answered it. I answered your phone. I didn't say a word because it was from an unknown number. 
and I was curious something was wrong. I felt it to my guts, Tom. My intuition tells me you're cheating on me. I feel there's someone else. On the other line, there was a voice saying, honey, are you on your way? Dinner is getting cold. <clears throat> That's impossible. Why would someone say something like that? You making this up. Pastor, I'm a woman of God. And the Bible says, thou shall not lie. And I sit here before you today as a Christian woman, a God-fearing woman, I am telling you the truth. You're a busy man, Pastor. Now, why would I waste your time? Evelyn, I believe you. Tom, I understand. Someone called your phone, but it was the wrong number. Your wife didn't answer, so they didn't know who they called. Let's just sweep it on the rug, okay? Now, this is something that I tell a lot of couples in counseling. Go home, prepare a nice meal, you get all snazzy up for your wife, and you guys fight to keep this marriage, while I'll continue to pray for you. Evelyn, seems like it was a misunderstanding. Okay, Pastor. I'm not saying that it's over. Look, my marriage comes first. She heard your voice on the phone. My wife's not stupid. Just give me some time. I had the paperwork ready for you tomorrow. Thank you. What was that? Uh, one of my uh, co-workers. Babe. Hmm? You know I love you, right? Yes. I miss this. Yeah, it was very much needed. I speak to you with my heart. I sing to you with my soul I give to you all of the praise I say thank you for everything for all the things you've done for the battles you fought for me for the victories won <laughs> well, that's good news. I told you the Lord is not sleeping. But Mom, you would have felt the same way if you heard what I heard. Satan's work is very powerful. But the Lord's work, it is out of this world. Evelyn, my daughter, when Jesus say yes, no one can say no. Faith is what's holding your marriage together and your belief in God. <sighs> Evelyn. Evelyn. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. How are you in town? You're not gonna believe this, but everything is wonderful. He's been home more often and we even made love. He was great. He got me this wonderful bracelet. It's That's all beautiful. Yeah. But I thought the person on the other line was... Please, please don't say it, I know. 
I don't want to think about that. It's in God's hands. How can you ignore that? I could never do something like that. Pastor said to just sweep it under the rug, and I'm a Christian woman. God will take care of it. And besides, the person probably had the wrong number. Don't be stupid. Please do not be stupid. Lorraine, leave it alone, please. Just leave it alone. Can I get the stew chicken platter, please? Okay. Where's your father? He said he had errands to run. Someone was calling his phone the whole time he drove me home. He wasn't too happy about it. Errands? Him and I did errands yesterday. We were gonna take you out for dinner. So how's school? Any boyfriends? No, mom. It's an all girls boarding school. There's no boys there. You and dad make sure of that. <laughs> I'm only playing with you. Come and give mommy a hug. You're getting so big. Oh, you're getting so big. I miss you so much. I miss you too. <laughs> I'll be back, okay? Okay. This is not healthy. I have a family. I told you I'm not ruining that for you. Pastoral. Just checking on your family. See how you and your husband doing. Oh, please come in. Of course, thank you. Hmm. You've done well with the place, Evelyn, after all these years. Yeah, can you believe it's been nine years since we've been here? Hmm? Please have a seat. Thank you. My husband's not home. But I'll give him a call to tell him that you're here. Mm -hmm. Would you like something to drink? Oh, no, thank you. I've already had some to drink. Lately, my mind has just been totally preoccupied. What's the matter? Uh, but you know what? That little bit of wine, it sure does do the trick. It does the job perfectly. I didn't know you drank. Oh, please. A little wine for stomach sake? Nah, you don't call that drinking. However, Evelyn, I haven't told the congregation, but the church hasn't been doing very well lately. Really? No, I even had to take a night job a couple of months ago just to make ends meet. Mm -hmm. Is there anything me and Tom can do? Maybe like have a bake sale like we used to do for the poor? <laughs> you could go set up in the poor now, so yeah, that could be fine. Yes. It's one thing, Pastor, you did always tell me. And what was that? Put God first, first in, in all, all things, things possible. possible and, and don't, don't forget, forget to pray. That's right. <laughs> Hold on. Excuse me, Pastor. It's my husband. Give me a minute. Hey, honey, Pastor's here. Evelyn, listen, listen. Get Crystal and get out of the house. What are you talking about? Get out of the house. What's the matter, Tom? Mom! Evelyn. Evelyn. Sorry, but soon you will understand. Give me your phone. Evelyn, please give me your phone. I told you. I told you, but you won't listen to me. I swear, if you hurt my family, I'm gonna kill you. I told you. Mm. 
Baby, you okay? You sure? Let's go in the yard. You okay, baby? Hey, 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 hey! I wouldn't do that if I were you. Are you blind? Don't you see I have a gun in my hand? Why are you doing this, Peter? Peter? Honey, are you on your way? Dinner's getting cold. Pastor Peter? Pastor! Uh, um, this is my husband Tom, the one I've been telling you about. Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You need help with that? No, I'm putting them down right here. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Okay. I'll, I'll talk to All you right. soon, okay? Alright. Well, if that's how we're going to play it, now that we're all gathered here, one big happy family, I think we should all have a family meeting. Don't you, honey? I told you we weren't going to ruin our marriages. Sit down. Sit down! I ain't playing with you. I am your husband's night job. Oh, you didn't hear me? I am your husband's night job. I'm the one he's been seeing all these nights when he leaves you here sleeping all alone in his big house. Evelyn, it started off just, just work. Hey, Tom. Hey, how you doing? I knew you've been talking about, you know, a little work. Well, there's an opening to come up about my job. You know, do a little paperwork and stuff like that. Yeah, and uh, you know, we'll see each other more often. Thank yeah, you, Yeah, you better stop by, okay? Okay. Okay, all right. And, 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 and then something happened. It, 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 it grew into a romantic relationship. And now, it's only him I think about. It's only him that I want. It doesn't matter if, if we have families. I, I really don't care. I, I know. I, I know it, it sounds sad. It, it sounds crazy. I'm going to kill you! What if I start smoking? What if I start Sorry, just let me explain. Listen, I don't, I don't want to lose my family. I'd do anything. Where's my phone? Give me my phone. Hello, we have an emergency. get to me before I allow you into my heart. Oh God, forgive me, forgive me for I have sinned. Forgive me. Forgive me for I have sinned. Oh God, forgive me for I have sinned.
lights on. Do you have any weapons in the car? No, no ma'am. No. So I need you to step out the car. Come on, buddy, get out the car. Let's go. Take it easy. All right, put your hands on the car. Come on, let's go. Down the back, sir. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say will be used against you in the court of law. If you don't have an attorney, won't be appointed for you. You understand that, sir? All right, let's go, buddy. Let's go. Come on, come on. So do you agree with my client? Yes, I do. Do you also agree with my client? All right, then. Sign here, please. Also sign here, please. Thank you. Thank you. Sign this, please. Thank you. Thank you. Sign this, please. Thank you. All right, so that's it. Guys, have a great day. Have a great day. day. You're Thanks. welcome. Explain. After you put your family life in danger, there's no need for an explanation, Tom. I know you. I knew my husband. The Bible says Adam was made for Eve. But who am I to judge? Because it also says that him without sins cast the first stone. And I'm not a hypocrite. God bless you, Tom. Take care of yourself. I don't know if I can start all over again. I don't think I can do that. Where there's a will, there is a way. And God showed you the way. In all things in life, whatever is in the dark must come to light. So you just let go and let God. But mom, he had me thinking I was crazy. I knew it was a man on the other line. Mm. And they both had me think I was crazy. I couldn't even say it to anyone except for Lorraine, who I put all my trust. And I put it in God's hands and he answered all my prayers. Just focus on your daughter. Everything will be okay. Because God is good. Amen to them. Yes. He's not sleeping, for sure. Because he's a powerful God. Yes, he is. Boy, I tell you, it's one thing I did learn from that crooked pastor. And is that no weapon that form against me shall prosper. gave me a divorce.
sorry for everything I put you through. And yes, I do love you. I love you too.